It's winter here now in Melbourne, Australia. 10, 12 degrees Celsius maximums, snow on the nearby hills and mountains. And to top it all off with, we're stuck in COVID lockdowns and we can't move out. So under these conditions, there's really not much you can do apart from build, build something. something. In the past, what I've done is to build quite large projects. So whole transceivers, SSB, CW, multi-band ones even. And then at the end, I've built a video walking through the transceiver, some of the design choices, some of the construction angles, and then usually I've shown it in use. So this time I wanted to do something different. Instead of building a radio and then producing a video, I decided to produce a series of videos and build a radio at the same time. So in this series of eight videos, I'm going to go through the complete design, construction, testing and building of this project. It's a two band, two channel QRP CW transceiver. start by clarifying the concept, what this rig needs to be. Then we'll look at all of the various choices, big, borrowing and stealing modules from famous and not so famous sources, working out how to put them all together. The emphasis will be on achieving reasonable performance and balancing that against parts count and the effort required to build the rig. Most of all, this needs to be a fun and a highly usable QRP CW transceiver. Okay. I'm trying to make contact with, with anyone using Morse code. After settling on the design of the schematic, I'll talk through the major implementation construction choices, laying out the printed circuit boards and starting to build them up, one module or one part at a time, checking against the schematic, making adaptations where necessary, first building up the receiver, then the transmitter and testing each stage as we go filters the complete receiver and transmitter sandwich the aluminium case and even the front panel this is not a kit and it's certainly not a competitor for many of the popular QRP CW transceivers but if you watch the series I'm sure you'll take away a lot of good ideas for your own QRP projects. Join me in the design and construction of 2B2C.